can't remember who we played, but I scored two goals. And then I came into training the next day and he um, sat me in his office. He was like, your distance, your distance was low. I was like, yeah, but I scored two goals. He's like, yeah, but if you ran more, you might score three. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, I had to, I didn't know the pass code for the briefcase. Oh, so man. I literally had to like you put my foot on it and broke the briefcase. You go from training and then you'd like probably just go to the beach and <laughs> put your feet up and show. Like it was... So I need a kit now, no? <laughs> <laughs> So welcome back to Life of a Kitman podcast. Um, our guest today has played 150 games. He's scored 43 goals in his career since being at Swindon. He's scored seven in 25. Um, and it is Rashan Hepburn Murphy. Welcome, Rush. You all right? Hello again, guys. Welcome, Rush. You all right? You all right, Jenna? <laughs> yeah, you all right? <laughs> As always, straight into the fiver side. So there's your counters. There's your pen. Okay, I okay. feel like this is going to be a good one, to be honest. So like everybody else does, you go, oh, let's go, go keeper there. Oh, one at the back. Go two. And two mid, yeah. And a one. I'll tell you what. Let's... Oh, we're going to, all right, cool. We've got a full Sorry. pitch to play with, haven't we? All right. Five aside though. Yeah, it's all right. It's five aside pitch. What about? <laughs> um, so we go, I'm going to go Shea Given. That was a given, wasn't it? Oh my God. Here he's Sorry, started, started already. Sorry, Rush. <laughs> Shay Given um, at the back. I'm gonna go. He's not a central defender, but I'm gonna go Wan Bissaka. Yeah, something like that. Is that right? Yeah. That'll yeah, do. that'll do. That's about that, right? Doesn't matter. We so. know what you mean. <laughs> um, it's all good. All right. Gonna go opposite foots on each wing, so oh, right so wing. Oh, cutting in and having a go. Yeah, Good right nice. wing. And I'm gonna go Marcus Edwards. Yeah, whatever that says. <laughs> the right wing. I'm gonna go um, Jack Grealish. Does it? This is as good as last week's five eighteen. And then up front. I, was, I know you've been struggling. Yeah, I've been struggling. Been for you, isn't it? I've knocked it down to two, and I'm choosing between Charlie Austin and Christian Benteke. What choice? I know it's a good choice, man. Come on. We can talk about going that. off. Going off a whole career, I'm gonna go Charlie Austin. I mean, what a no. team. What a team. Great. Chaz gets in again. For there's a lot of games there, isn't there? That's unbelievable. Yeah, there's... Shea Given. Shea Given, Given ex-Swindon Town, by the way. Yeah. yeah. On loan back in the day. So Started nice. off here. Good team, that. That's unbelievable, isn't Don't it? think anyone gets past him. Yeah, that's the Do second. you know what? Willow said the yeah, same thing. Yeah, that's the second time we've yeah. had yeah. one attack in that. We yeah, had Willow, Willow put him thing. in as well, but not, not uh, there in a the centre-back. But in a five-a-side, to be fair, central in the back. Be yeah, right. just just stay there. Don't worry about yeah. getting forward. Just yeah, stay don't there. Don't worry about that. What about Marcus Edwards? What are we saying there? Um, one of the best dribblers I've probably ever played with, and probably ever seen. Where is he now? Um, he's at Sporting Lisbon, if I am correct. Um, he had a great season last year in the Champions League. He had a great season in the league as well, but in the Champions League, he played against his old club Tottenham, and just he was unbelievable. To be fair, it was a joke. Torn to pieces. Yeah, torn him to pieces, man. He's like five foot five. That you know that low centre of gravity, yeah, yeah, like yeah, sure. turning, like oh, it's ridiculous. To be fair, where was that at Villa? Um, no, nah, England. Oh, with, okay, cool. What, yeah, in the twenties. I played with him at England all the way all, up all the way through, all the way through, so on the twenties. Yeah, perfect. Jack Grealish, that speaks for itself. Everybody. How good is he? Though? Yeah, mate. Yeah, he he's ridiculous. To be fair, like, you know when you see him in games, you see him running with the ball, and you think, how's nobody tackled him? Nobody. Why is like? And then you see your training as well, and he does it the same thing you're training. It's just like it's just you one just of them can't things. Get near him. Yeah, you actually can't get no one near him, and he's surprisingly quick as well. Yeah, like very surprisingly quick. I feel like he's quicker with so the calves, ball as well. Yeah, jet power calves. <laughs> calves are bigger than my biceps, one. But yeah, man, he, he's <laughs> he's he's a great player to be fair, and Charlie Austin. The main now. Yeah. Obviously, Stop. you knew about Charlie before you come in. Everyone yeah, for knows sure. Charlie Austin, but yeah. what's he been like since he came in? 
Um, to be fair, when he, before he first came in, there was like the video was going around of him like shouting at players when he was in um, Australia. Australia, and then. That, but then when he came in, he was just, just he was a calm person. To be fair, got along with him straight away. To be honest, yeah, and Chaz, Chaz is funny man. He's a proper good guy as well. Yeah. Proper proper good guy. So yeah. And obviously say. Ben Teke, the one that come close. Yeah. We were talking earlier about when he played out here. He scored when he just signed for Liverpool. The goal he scored. He showed you the, the, chest, the chest volley. Yeah. yeah. Another top striker. Yeah. To be fair, his career at Villa, well, it was one season. Was it two seasons? It might have been two. He was just unbelievable. He could score from anywhere. Every single time he got the ball, he just fought goal. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he was a joke. No, that's mad. What a team. What a team. Shea given in goal. No one's, yeah. beat, no one's beating Shea no. down. No. Especially not in five votes. Unbelievable no. career. No, to be fair. Very good career, actually. Yeah. Very, incredible. very good career. Manager for you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. So this one's been thrown on, yeah? Um, I have to go with the manager that gave me my debut, to be honest. Uh, Tim Sherwood. Yeah. Yeah. Good manager and good person as well. Very, yeah. very good person. So, yeah. Decent. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> kit you playing? Get this team we're playing from the ones you've played in in your career. I'm gonna have to go. I can't remember what season it was, but we had a black away kit. What? Uh, at Villa, at Villa. Villa, we had a black away kit, which was very nice. So I'm gonna go with that one. Decent, nice, love it. Unbelievable team. Great team again. That's gonna be up there at the end of the season when we. Yeah, uh, and we say it most weeks. To be fair, yeah, quite proud of that team. To be yeah. fair, it's class. <laughs> no, actually, it's really class. Um, before we go into your career and stuff, I yep. just want to talk about like boots or any kind of superstitions or any kind of things that you do on a match day. So, y as far as we're aware, you got one pair of boots. Yeah. And you wear them every S single since day. You, since <laughs> you joined at the start of last season, obviously, I think you've only worn two pairs of boots. Yeah, so you obviously had the studs last year and then yeah, you and wore then those mugs. These, these ones. Um, to be fair, I don't like wearing new boots because it just takes so long to break them in yeah. like they're always just so stiff so like once i get once i break in a new pair of boots i just choose to stick with that pair of boots for the rest of the season well for as long as i can to be honest until like until they rip or yeah. yeah and then i just get yeah, a new pair right. of boots after that so yeah shin pads you're a bit of a diy man aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i create my own shin pads in the changing room yeah. i made you something yeah, for it, didn't i, <laughs> I, they were good. I couldn't find your own I, I scolded them as well too that's what i was saying so i, I said them. didn't i when i made them i said if he scores tonight yeah and wear them every game yeah i'm gonna wear them every game until <laughs> i don't score so yeah that's just made out of like the the tape isn't it yeah so usually i wear in like i take insoles out the bottom of my shoes and then i like cut it in half and then like it yeah. fits very nicely around my um, shins but they're not too heavy they're not too heavy or anything yeah. so you don't feel like i've got shin pads on yeah so yeah but it gives you a little bit of protection yeah but that's why i've got all these cuts on my legs so <laughs> yeah so wear your shin pads guys yeah don't listen to me <laughs> uh cool so you started at villa yeah um come through the academy there yeah major premier league debut there yeah i mean what a journey how how was it um to be fair, it feels so long ago, but I'm still only 24, so it wasn't. That, it actually wasn't that long ago. But yeah, um, Villa was Villa was good to be fair. Coming up, coming up through Villa was. I mean, it speaks for itself. The the size of the club on its own. Massive club. Massive, massive club. The training ground facilities. Yeah, probably more heaps. Somewhere. Yeah, unbelievable, more and they've even done more to it since since I left. So yeah. I could only imagine how that looks like. But yeah, it was it was good, man. I met some characters, met some nice people. Worked under quite a few managers as well. Any coaches that stand out from your youth yes. times? Yes. Um, ben Petty. I had, I had him since I was since I was very young. To be fair, up until, up until twenty threes actually. Um, Mark Delaney. I also had. He was good. He, yeah. he obviously he's had a big career as well when he was a footballer. Yeah. So yeah, and um, Kevin McDonald. He was. He was here. Wasn't a lot of Swindon. Was he? Yeah. A lot of Swindon, lot of Swindon connections. Yeah, yeah, he was probably one of my um, toughest coaches to work underneath. Really? To be fair, yeah, do you yeah. think that helped you? Though, yeah, hundred. Yeah, hundred thousand yeah. percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, like he would probably bat me every game if I don't play well. Or I remember one time I played. Um, I can't remember who we played, but I scored two goals, and then I came into training the next day, and he um, sat me in his office. He was like, "Your distance. Your distance was low." I was like, yeah, but I scored two goals. He's like, yeah, but if you ran more, you might score three. <laughs> so it's just like, there's, 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 there's no reason. Yeah, always be there. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. But yeah, he and was a good man. He obviously believed that you had an unreal talent. Yeah. yeah. And if you applied yourself mm. how he wanted you to apply yourself, you could yeah. be even better than 
you know, than you were, which is yeah, yeah for which sure. Which is obviously testament to yourself that you know you're still playing professional and you're yeah for you're sure doing everything everything you can do. Um, so what's it like playing in the Premier League? Who did you make your debut against? Newcastle, no Sunderland. Right. Sunderland had done my second appearance in the Premier League against what Newcastle. What season was that? Two thousand and fifteen. Yeah. Two thousand and fifteen, sixteen season. Played against Sunderland. The way so I. How the way old I've, would you have been then? Sixteen. What age did you join Villa? Prem, six. So six. Ten years you'd been waiting for a yeah. moment like that. Yeah. You must have been buzzing. Come sooner than I thought, to be fair. Yeah, sixteen last year. Yeah, the way it happened was crazy. I did, I didn't even expect it because I was like. I was playing, when I was 16, I was like playing with the under-18s and I ain't even made a 23s appearance at that point. Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, and I was playing with that's the 18s. It's not very often that would happen really, is it? No, not at all. And I think I'd scored like 18 goals that season or something like that, something stupid yeah. like that for the under-18s. And then one day the the gaffer called me into office, Tim Show, when he called me into his office, he was like, um, he just sat me down, he was like, you're doing pretty well this season, aren't you? I was like, yeah. He's like, what, you scored 18 goals in, I can't remember how many games it was. I was like, yeah. And he's like, for that reason, you're going to travel with us today. I was like, huh? I was like, Sorry, I'm doing what? I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're going to travel with us today. So what I need you to do is go home, get your passport, because we're going to fly from the airport to Sunderland. And then, yeah, whatever happens from there happens. So I had to literally, I called my mom. I was like, mom, I'm traveling with the first team. I need to get my passport. But she keeps like all that important stuff in a briefcase. <laughs> So like I had to, I didn't know the passcode for the briefcase, oh, so man. I literally had to like you put my foot on it and broke the briefcase. I got my passport and then went back to the training ground. and I travelled with them that day. That's yeah. So you come on, did you? Yeah, so I, can't, I can't remember how long I played. It might have been 15, 15 minutes. It was or something a bit like of blur. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit it's of not a blur. bad uh, stadium to make a debut in. To be fair, uh, stadium Especially, were like it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, unbelievable. it's crazy. And like where the Villa fans, because like the yeah, away right fans the are top, like right at the top, top like up there. And it was crazy, and I was just sitting on the bench, and then I just like decided to like just warm up as you do, and then I think can't remember who I think it might have been Westwood. He must have he sent Westwood um, up the sidelines to tell me to get warm because you're coming on. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually Sorry. Did, I, didn't, I didn't know what. Yeah. To, so I was just doing all sorts of sprints <laughs> on the sideline. What stage of the season was it? Was it? I can't I actually cannot remember what yeah. stage of the season it was. To be fair. I don't think he, I think it might have been like the middle tip. Yeah. 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 So then I was warming not. up and then I, like I, I looked up and I just seen him doing this. So I, I was like, because there's other players warming up as well. So looking, he was like, he's no, like, no, you, 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 like, you're like that. Me, he's like, you, <laughs> yeah. he's like cool. So I just ran down and, I, and then, um, yeah, I came on for Benteke and, uh, yeah. That's mental. That's not bad, is it? That's mental. Luckily, luckily we were 4 nil up as well. It was 4 nil up at that point, so. That's perfect, though. Perfect. Like, perfect game. What number right? did you have that? 29. Nice number, though. Nice yeah. Number. 11's better, though. Yeah, yeah I like 11. So, obviously, then you went on to make 13 appearances in total for Villa. Mm -hmm. With a few loan moves in that. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, you went on to Cambridge on loan for your first loan. How was that for you? Carnage. Didn't know what was going on. <laughs> My, like, really? Yeah, How old my, were you at that stage? Why is that? Why is that? 17, yeah. 18. Um, it's just because, like, even though I made my debut and whatnot at Villa, I wasn't in, like, a first-team environment. Course, so like, yeah. I'd go back to the 23s because I wasn't in the first-team training room or anything. So like, that was my proper first time being in, like, an actual first-team environment. And plus, that just to see how different the facilities are. Yeah, so, for like, sure. Cambridge were in League 2 at that, League two at that point. Yeah. So like going from Bodymore Heath to going to where Cambridge chain, like it was just reality check. Yeah, rea yeah. like a proper reality check and like everything yeah. you had to do for yourself, like like you guys that don't think they had kit men, so like you'd have to clean your boots yourself. Um did we have to wash I think we might have to wash our training kit ourselves as well. Like you just have to do a lot of stuff for yourself. So it's like yeah. really going from having pretty much everything, everything done for, for you, you yeah. to and you. a team. And that is a, that is a proper young age to go on loan. Like most yeah. of the players that obviously come here on loan are sort of Youngest, 19, yeah. like 19 and mm. 19 youngest, but usually they're 20, 21, so they've played quite a few years, 23s. Yeah. So that is quite a young age, but obviously something at the time that's obviously worked for you. Yeah. Um, to be fair, the gaffer at the time was Colin Calderwood, and I had him at Villa. Oh, never sw and never, never swindling. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then he went, to, he went to Cambridge as the manager, and then he brought yeah. me on loan. He did well, when right, he went did there. Yeah. yeah. He did all right, to be fair, yeah. he did well. The first season, the season I was there, weren't, weren't that great. We was fighting relegation, but we stayed up. Yeah. And then the second season did very He's well. He's not fighting now, isn't he? Yeah. Assistant manager. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but Cambridge was crazy. Proper eye opener. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But that's why the loan system's there. Yeah. So that you can go and see and yeah, learn for sure. it and be in it and be better for it when yeah. you come back out. Hundred so. percent. Yeah, and the fact that you're only twenty four, like you've experienced so much in that in that time to be fair. Yeah, a lot to be fair. Yeah. So a very lot. And then I went on loan to Drama. I don't think that's my place to say. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. No, no, no. Okay. You can carry on. <laughs> you carry on. No, whatever works for you, Rush. No, this no. isn't about us. Yeah. When, <laughs> then when I loaned to Tramia, yeah, Tramia was a bit. Tramia was Tramia was better. To be fair, obviously I was older. I think I was nineteen. Not that much older, but like I had experience more, so I was Goals, a bit more yeah. wiser and stuff like that. So like going into the dressing room and like being in a yeah, first team environment, knew what I kind of yeah, yeah, done it before. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And um, my loan spot there, it was all right to be fair. A few ups, few downs. Um, but yeah, overall it was all right. Decent. And then, how do you end up in Greece? <laughs> yeah. What? How do you go from being at Villa for, for ten years, yeah. twelve years, whatever it was, mm -hmm. playing in the Premier League, yeah. going out and getting some loan experience in the Football League, yeah. and then suddenly you're in Greece? I actually. What happened? I actually don't know. <laughs> I actually, I, I don't know. Cause it's kind of weird. Cause when I was at Tramia. Um, I think I cut I, my loan spell got cut short, like so right. I was supposed to do twelve months. I did six months, and then I went along to Derby, and um, that was like when all like the COVID stuff was going on. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think I was there for like two months, and then football was done. So like yeah. football shut down, game, everything's it? done, yeah. and that. And then I found out that I wasn't getting another contract from Villa, so it was like, all right, cool. I have to find another club. And then my agent, my agent just met, mentioned. Cyprus to me, I just thought, I don't know, change the scenery, man. I've always wanted to go go and play abroad. I think I might have went a bit too soon, but yeah. I just wanted to change the scenery. And to be yes. fair, I don't regret yeah. it. A lot of it's players, all learned. A lot of players yeah. obviously usually do it towards the end of their career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go off just for a different experience. Yeah. But you've done it at that stage. Yeah. How was it then? Um, like I said, when I went over there again, it was COVID. So we went to... I think I did pre-season with them or in Latvia. Latvia. This is a yeah. Pavos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did pre-season in Latvia and we were literally stuck there for like three weeks in a hotel. <laughs> like, honestly, I could have smashed my head off the wall. Oh, that's mental. And then that's mental. We get back to Cyprus and then like everything's just closed down. Can't really do anything. Stuck in the house. Can't really. Can't. Couldn't even really train like. Couldn't yeah. really train like that. And then. Um, that was the first. That was the first year, and then after COVID, kind of like settled down and whatnot. It was all right. It was a good experience, but it's completely different to England. Like you'd go over there, I'll train. We'd either train in the morning, early in the morning, or we'd train late at night because the Cause heat. The heat, yeah, the the heat over there is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, not like today's training at no. whatever time that was, <laughs> no. one o'clock or two o'clock. No, or whatever it was. so we had to do one or the other. And then you go from training, and then you like probably just go to the beach and <laughs> put your feet yeah. up and show. Like it was. So they need a kit man, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it didn't. It didn't even feel like I was a professional football club because it was that chilled. Yeah. Um, and I remember my first. Was it my first game? I think it might be my first game there. And um, I played, and I think like the first forty-five minutes, I was struggling to. Like, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't deal with the heat or anything. Yeah. Struggling to breathe. I just said to the gaffer at half time, I said, I, I, "I think you're gonna have to take me off. I can't breathe." He took me. Very, very long time to get used to the heat, but... What was the league like for you? Standard-wise? I underestimated it. Yeah. Underestimated it, for sure. There are some good footballers over in over in that league in Cyprus, to be fair. Very good. But it's like, it's kind of like... It's kind of like Scotland, in a sense. You know, you have, like, you Rangers, you yeah, Celtics. Yeah, a couple, of big, you have yeah, couple I mean. of big teams. And then a few of the other teams are, like, not that great. So that was pretty much what Cyprus was like. I'm sure you'd heard of some teams over there, like Apple Wild, they've been in the Champions League yeah, before. Yeah. Um, I think Ammonia, I'm not sure you'd have heard of them, to be fair, but they're a good club over there. And there's a few good clubs over there, so that you actually have big games, and yeah. the fans over there are crazy, man. Are they? Oh, no, what, was crazy. It, what were the crowds like, like number-wise? What were the attendances like? Not that big, so I think we would probably get like between five and 10,000. Yeah. Not that so big. Sort of League 2. Kind yeah, of, sort of. Yeah, boy, it feels like fifty thousand because they're that crazy. Yeah, like they're setting off flares in the, we in the stands and everything, yeah. throwing flares yeah. on the pitch. It's crazy. You'd rather have six or seven thousand in the ground, really giving it some. Yeah, than yeah. have ten thousand and people just be it's a bit quiet. blase. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know I mean? it just makes a difference to playing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. massive difference to be yeah. fair. Definitely. And like the stories over there, like teams not winning and the fans just smashing the players' cards after the game, and like, it's 
proper crazy over That's there. mental. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Did you ever see anything like no. that? No. Was it just stories? Now, to be fair, when I was over there, my house got broken into. That's mad. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? What, what's that like? What, were you at training or were you a I was game? At or? I was at a game. I had an away game. So I got back. We got back, I think I got back late, probably like 12, 12 o'clock. And I, I've opened my door and I, I, it just felt really chilly. I was like, what yeah. the hell? So I turned on the light and looked, my side window was open. I was like, did I leave my window open? I was like, probably did. I shut it. Anyway, I went upstairs. Went in my room, my room was just trash, like my clothes everywhere, bed to the side, everything. So I started to panic and I was thinking, oh my God, what have they took? I looked around, they ain't took anything. My PlayStation's there, TV's there, back so clothes. They didn't take anything at all. Absolutely so nothing. <laughs> so I almost feel like when I turned up, they think must have heard me outside and probably just ran and through just the back garden or something like that. Probably left. That's that. You, you wouldn't really get that, yeah? No, would you? No. Nah. You know what I mean? I mean, you hear it, the odd... It'd just be on Twitter and You stuff. hear the odd thing with, like, a Premier League player. Like, I think I've seen Maguire a few months back. House yeah. got stolen into, but... And Duncan Ferguson's house got broken into yeah. once, so he just beat him but up not, and ended up not, in prison. Yeah, not very often. Mental. Yeah, mental. But, <laughs> mental. But you see it in, like, the Turkish leagues and other leagues like that. They're mad. Yeah. Correct. I do even call it passion. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know I what, don't know what it is. I don't, I don't, but it's, <laughs> it's something I've experienced. There's, 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 pa- there's passion and then there's... And then yeah, there's, yeah mad. Right, at this point, we've got a new feature that we're going to throw in. So, basically, Rush is going to have 20 seconds. I haven't got the timer, so Jonah's going to have to count. Yeah. Use your Can you fingers and your... Just about. Just about. <laughs> if you use your fingers, thumbs <laughs> and your toes, we should be yeah. all right, okay? But basically, Matt, Matt, you, Matt's got his. on the iPad, we've got different shirts, but... The club crest is covered by me and him, oh, by yeah. this logo. Jesus. And you've got to guess which team it is. Have you got any old school shirts on there? No, they're all current oh, ones. Yeah, cool. So should you should right. be all right. Yeah, that should be fun. Um, but you've got 20 seconds to name as many as you can. Nah, cool. All right? Yeah, no and problem. And you're the first one to do it. So, are you ready, Matt? Because Matt's going to time for us. And go. Brighton. Arsenal. Jesus. Oh. Pass, pass, pass. Pass. Cardiff. Cardiff. Chelsea. Oh, I know this one. Oh. Rangers. Nope. Oh, pass. West Ham. Nope. Villa. Villa. <laughs> Don't laugh. Swindon. Oh, Swindon. Uh, Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Don't know. Pass. Time's Jesus up. Christ. Time's up. That was 20 seconds. I got seven. Do you get wow. seven? Wow. I had eight. Oh, you had eight? Oh, my God. We're, well, no matter what, you're we'll back. Yeah, we had eight. We had eight. <laughs> it's either seven eight. or eight. That's not bad. The ones seven. that you passed on, what did we have? Carlisle United. Okay. All right. Um, Villa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Wrexham. Okay. All right. I didn't oh, play against them on the weekend. Mill. And, uh, yeah, the Barnsley one. Oh, and the Barnsley one. to start. Yeah, that's Barnsley. That's Barnley kit? Yeah. I thought that, was a, I thought that would have been a team in Cyprus. No, that's incredible. It's Barnsley. Probably looks like a it's foreign right. kit. It's Barnsley, but okay. these will all be on the screen, so people will be able to see them. Yeah. But wait a minute, I'll show our audience, because we've got some guys in doing life experience. That's Barnsley's kit. That's mad. I also think Rush got 30 seconds for that rather than 20. Did he? You think so? No, I got like 10 seconds. I felt like 10 seconds. <sighs> I think it was... <laughs> I'm too obsessed by counting yeah. and having to get it right. I yeah. forgot that was We're going to have to bring a clock in yeah. and stick it on the side and then Matt can hit the button. Be a bit more fresh. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Maybe we could... I don't think 20 seconds was long enough, Mum. Do you know what I think? No. But if everybody gets the same, I don't think it matters, does it? No, it does. I could does have it? got more than eight. Well, yeah, but if you had a minute, <laughs> you could have got more than... Actually, you're right. Do you know what I mean? Right. If you had 10 minutes, you get loads. 20 seconds for everyone, though. <laughs> 20 seconds for everyone, 20 I think. 20 seconds for everyone. So that was a bit of fun. Um, I liked it, to be fair. Did you? Yeah. I like it. We'll do it again sometime. Ah. We'll, just do it. we'll just do it at training. We'll do it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when we sit down to not eat breakfast together, yeah, we'll, do it on TikTok. we'll do some of that. Yeah, yeah and we'll do it on TikTok. Good idea. Mm. Um, and then you ended up here. Yeah. So something that some people might not know, but obviously we know because we were here. Mm-hmm. You were here quite a long time before you actually signed, yeah. doing your rehab and yeah. all of that. Um, so we were seeing you all the time, yeah. but you were just running and running and running. 
walking and then running. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Sledge, sledging. Walks, and yeah, and sledging. And and obviously, we had heard things about you, but we weren't seeing any of the football side. Yeah, yeah. The full shebang. How was that doing the rehab? Um, I came here because I was yeah, like I said, I was doing the rehab. I had um, I had my hip injury. Um, what was the injury? I don't actually know. It's something called. Well, the operation I had was called. Uh, I actually don't know. Why am I? <laughs> Some big word, I don't remember, but it was something oh. to do with my hip, which I had two operations on. The first one I didn't really recover from, so yeah. I had to have another one. Then I had my second one, and I done my rehab here. A funny story about my first operation, but I'll tell you that afterwards. Yeah. It's a long story. Can you not tell long us long story. No, it's too long. No, I just, no, when I had my, yeah, it's too long. Yeah, it's too long. <laughs> we'll do it after. We'll do it after. <laughs> it's fine, we'll do it after. We can do it some bonus content or something. But yeah, then I ended up doing my rehab here. I think I was like, might have been something like six weeks yeah. until I was back fit or something like that. It might have been, did my rehab here, then I ended up signing, did it? I can't even remember the order it came in. Yeah, I ended up signing anyway, and then I had my first game against Plymouth, no, not Plymouth, was it Plymouth? Yeah, it was Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth in Plymouth, the yeah. Papa John's. Yeah, in the Papa John's. And you scored, like, literally oh, yeah. within. Yeah. Oh, my God, I was that's the game. Yeah, I was literally, like... He was like, oh my God, how good is this? I was, I was, like, I was, like, I was, I was like, Jonah, calm down. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes. No, no, man, I'm gonna, I've never seen anyone as fast as him. I'm sure I'm sure <laughs> next to him going, and then you scored that, I need to you move scored that goal. And then we're like... <laughs> it must have been just before... I think we must have played Grimsby not long after that. Yeah, we won't talk and about that, that. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, bad day. Bad, bad day. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, that we won, game... Though, we? Yeah, we won. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that game, you... Obviously, come on and score straight away. I could have scored two that game, to be yeah. fair. I think I had a chance that straight away. Keeper saved it. But yeah. But yeah, I couldn't get over how fast you were. Still am. So is that... Is that 12 months ago now? No, nah, I think we must have played Plymouth maybe a second or third game, so it must have been... It might have right. been end of September. Um, yeah, but close to a year you've been yeah. here. How has it... Gone how's fast. It, that's mad, isn't it? It's gone like, fast. How's it been? It's been all right, to be fair, to be fair. Um, a few, lots, a few a different gaffers. I like to be fair. Yeah. Um, how many gaffers we had? Three? Three plus gaff, four. Four. Yeah, it's been, it's been good, to be fair. I like it. I like it here, yeah, man. I like it a lot. Used to um, brighten my day up in the morning when I'm grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's been all right, man. It's been all right. The lads are brilliant. Yeah. The, the changing room we have is actually unbelievable. The togetherness in the changing room is a joke. It's a really good group at the minute. Isn't yeah, it? it's a joke. Some good lads. Yeah. Some and plus good the additions as well. 100%. Well, we've got a few dumb additions, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's always a few of that. You, you guys dumb. know, you, they know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say their names. Uh, but yeah, it's good, man. And uh, the crowds that we get here are unbelievable yeah. as well, man. For Especially a, for this level. Yeah, for yeah. a league, for, for being in League 2, 10. 10,000 a home game. Which yeah. is why we job. attract some players that we do. Cause yeah, for sure. Because yeah, people to, come to play in 9,000, 10,000 a week at this level. It's, yeah. yeah. It's one fair, of the best. Before so. I signed, I came to watch a game and I was sold instantly. Yeah. I was yeah. literally sold. I said, Jesus. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's not what you'd expect a lead to. No. Has there been any standout moments for you since you've been here? Like, favourite goal or... Favourite goal? The one at Hartlepool was pretty good, to be fair. It's either that or the one against Crew. But then, uh, to be fair, my favourite goal was probably just the Plymouth one, just because of like the whole build up to it. Yeah. Cause, like, and it had been so it meant a lot. out for two years, yeah. and I was that my first game back, and I'd scored so that. You, you were buzzing. When yeah, you I was. Oh, pitch, I was so right, happy. We lost three one, but forget that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so happy. It's such a journey, isn't it? From yeah, being mad, injured, massive two journey. operations. All the rehab, yeah, and then coming back and scoring yeah. 10 minutes into obviously, we didn't see the, the whole time that you were injured, but we saw your build up for it. And we've seen it with so many players that have been there that have had a like an injury and then they've come back and maybe played their first game. And but when you see all the steps and then they finally get that moment because mm. fans and people from the outside looking in don't see how much work actually goes into getting to that moment, no, for sure. So when you yeah. see that moment, obviously, as I said, we didn't see your whole path back to that, but. It's a good sight to see. No, for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Pre-season this year, how was that for you? That has been my... We watched on. That, that, that running track. <laughs> got, that running track got a battering. Oh, <laughs> getting PTSD, man. I think <laughs> this pre-season was tough. Yeah, Again, where's that rank in your pre-season? Top, top by top, a mile, yeah. by a country mile. He got the last two and some running, didn't he? Yeah, that, like I said, I had Kevin McDonald at Villa and he yeah. his pre-seasons were a joke, but... 
this preseason, my lord, didn't even make sense some of the times. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> come in, KB, what we're we doing today, tell us, or whatever, man. <laughs> but this is my first preseason in like two years. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of forgot what preseason was like. Yeah. But how important um, is it to have a proper preseason? Oh, massively. How much of a difference does it make to players? Massively. Like, because yeah. when I came back from my injury, I was fit, but I wasn't yeah. fit. Like, I hadn't yeah, had a preseason. Yeah. I hadn't had, had like a good run of games. I was pretty much unfit for the whole season. Like, I was yeah. getting cramping at like, the 70th minute every game. Oh, I saw some cramp this, yeah. this summer. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got to tell a story. <laughs> we're doing a possession after they've done a bit of running. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. And then passing the ball around, popping it about. Charles passes Rush the ball. He controls it. Next thing I know, he's almost bounced, hit the floor, and the cramp in his leg, you could physically see the cramp in oh, his leg. Your leg was just stuck out straight. Oh, you couldn't move, you stupid. were screaming. We've dragged you off the pitch. <laughs> Everyone's going, oh, get up, mate. <laughs> Crack on, have a drink. Everyone's bound, oh, Russia's got cramp. <laughs> he's nearly dead on the floor, <laughs> holding his leg, and ah! <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone, if you've had cramp, you know the pain of cramp. Cramp <laughs> is so painful. It's almost unbearable. Yeah. Oh, it was unbelievable. Your face, you're just on the floor and I'm trying hard as not to laugh. It's I don't rush you, okay? Do, you need it? do I look okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like saying to you. Do and I then he got okay? up and he went back in, but he's just limping around all over the shop. Yeah, it was painful. For a few man. minutes until it eased off. But, but yeah, where the, where the season's so long, 10 months, that's six, five, six weeks or whatever, whatever it is, to get that base of fitness. Mm. It's so important Massively. to get you through that season. Massively. Because otherwise, if you don't, we've seen it with players that are really good players yeah, that have come, come in late. at a late stage. Yeah. Yeah. And we've seen it where they've had not as a good season as they could have. And the next year, they've had a pre season. Yeah. And the difference, you can yeah, just have. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Sometimes so. it works the other way, though, especially if it's a lot of people coming in late. Mm -hmm. So, like the summer before last, we only had. A twelve-day preseason, yeah. but yeah, then the, six to, like, the togetherness and everybody going right, yeah. so it's against the world. Yeah, yeah. really, you know, yeah, helped yeah, yeah. us on to, to you know the playoffs and and all the rest of it. Yeah. So it can work the other way, but yeah, getting the preseason yeah. under your belt is massive. No, for yeah. sure. I mean, you only look. I mean, we keep mentioning Chaz, but he's playing every minute of every game. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, and without that preseason, free he probably doesn't do it. Three nineties in this last week. <laughs> to be fair, Chaz done well to get through that preseason. Yeah. Mm. No, it was really, really good. Um, so far, that's when you scored seven goals in twenty-five games. It's a good return. What? So, right. Well, considering like that's from you coming back yeah, from yeah, that yeah. injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you weren't playing full games yeah. then. Do you set yourself any targets for a season, or do you do you just take, take each it. game and? This season, I'm definitely setting myself a target. I want double figures this season for sure. Right. Last season, I didn't so much. I didn't really put any strain on myself or have any expectation. I just thought mm -hmm. first yeah. season back in football, just enjoy Get it. Get some games yeah. and play some football. But this season, season, for sure, I'm, I've, I have a few targets actually and keep them to myself. Yeah, yeah, do that. Keep but, them to um, myself. I mean, obviously, prior to the niggle you've had yeah. with your knee, mm. um, is, is your knee, Yeah, knee. Yeah. That was a Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, playing some unbelievable stuff. Your goal at Peterborough is incredible. Thank you. The timing of the run, like the touch, the finish. Yeah. The Plymouth Everything game, was... the Eastley game. I mean, that Eastley game in that first half now, you could have had three goals. Oh, the one that hit the bar, and you were just on fire. And then you took me down for the penalty. Yeah, yeah I was going to shoot. Yeah. That was, a, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good first half on that one. And then obviously the Plymouth game as well. Um, so yeah, you had a good pre-season like we were just talking about. Yeah, talking sure. about penalties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't bring this up. Please don't bring it up. <laughs> so Charles gives you a penalty last season. Yeah. What happened? What, what are you thinking, right? When he gives you the ball and you're like, oh God. Now, you know what's crazy? Charles told me after the game that like, if he had took a penalty and scored, that would have been him double figures for the season. Yeah. So I'm confused as to why he even gave me it. No, we don't know. Because he gave Darcy one the week before. Yeah. So then he actually he gave me it. I just thought his last game of the season was winning 2 0, was it at that point? Yeah. Or 2 1 or 3 1, something like that. I think it was 2 1, wasn't it? At the time. Yeah. And I thought, all right, cool, I've got to score this penalty, put the game to bed. Um, everyone goes into the summer happy. <laughs> and <laughs> the, it, first of all, the keeper's about seven foot. Yeah. So he looked massive in the goal. I'm like, oh my God, all right. 
if I go to the corners, he's probably going to save it if he goes the right way because he's so long. So I try and just smash it down the middle. And I try to smash it down the middle and it veers to the left just a little bit and he just saves it. And I just, oh my God. Twice he gave a wear penalty because he gave one a wear at Wimbledon as well. He would have been on double figures if it wasn't yeah, for that. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, um, first, hey, pen, first penalty honest. I've missed. But yeah, I was going to say, about whenever we see you take from training then. Yeah, I know, I scored. I, right. And your finishing's usually like absolutely top notch. And now I'm not even in the rankings to even take a penalty. <laughs> like, probably like fifth. Yeah, everyone's like, Rush, do you want one? Actually. No. <laughs> as soon as the gaffer took, came in, he's like, you're not taking penalty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I love it. He was at the last game last year. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he saw it, didn't he? Yeah. But, there you go. What's it time for now, Joe? Does that bring us on to the quiz, does it? I think it might do. Now, before we go into this, one of my questions has been absolutely killed. Because <laughs> it was how many goals had Rush scored since he'd been well, at Swindon. Why have you told us that? Because we could have just gone in as quick as quickest. Yeah, well, I just didn't. I just wanted to say, so I've got six questions. Um, we could have just gone, look at that. Do I get a point for that or not? <laughs> why are you getting a point for that? Because you messed um, up. Yeah, but I'm the one that wrote it on the sheet. That you messed up. I did the research. It came up twice as well. It was literally obviously in the introduction that, but I didn't know you were obviously going to say it. And then that. It's written on a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see it. This was obviously done before. Um, miles off it. So obviously, Rush, we've got a quiz. It was seven questions, but it's six. But there is a bonus point in one of the questions. Oh, okay, so cool. That's right. Should so hopefully be all right. Should even, get through it. Up, yeah. it. should get through it. Um, so it should be the first person to say their name. So Rush. Before we talk Peeps. about the quiz, no problem. we just need to say our sponsors for the big quiz, Tove yeah. Grove. Um, thanks for the support, as always. Um, here we yeah. go. So Me question, against Rush. Question one. This player has played for the following. Oh, he loves these ones. He always does these. Go on. So, his first club was Hednesford Town. I think that's how you say it. Hensford. Hensford. Yeah, yeah sorry. Way off it. Um, <laughs> second club was Walsall Wood. Third club was Birmingham. He then went to Yeovil. Remember who on? Yep. But he didn't show his name. But then we didn't explain the rules. So. No, I, I did say, say your name. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is hot. 1-0. Thank you. So, question two. Obviously, Rush, you have played for both Swindon and Villa. Yeah. Um, I want you guys to name at least three players that have played for both clubs. Yeah, me. Hoops. Yeah. Rush? Well, other than Rush. Well, you didn't say uh, that. I, <laughs> other than Rush. Also, wait. When you okay, I've got it. Right, no, I've got uh, it. Uh, Shea Given, Louis Barry, Ken Kerslade. Obviously, there's a few others. Nathan D'Alfonso, um, Harry McCurdy, Jordan Lydon. Oh, God, Harry McCurdy. There's quite Jordan a few, Lydon. to be fair. Yeah, there is quite a few, aren't there? Oh, it's just hand-me-downs. <laughs> <laughs> hand-me-downs. Um, one, one. <laughs> so it's one all. Um, question number three. How many goals did Swindon score last season? Closest win. Oh, my God. Unless you know the exact one, obviously. How many goals have we scored last year? <laughs> In the league. In the league? In the league, yes. Hoops, 54. I was going to say, I was actually going to say 52. I say 52. You got 52, yeah. Steve's the closest because it was 61. 61 goals we scored. Right, 61 goals, that's a lot of goals. Yeah. Considering we finished like... Yeah, I didn't think we scored that many last mid -table, year. Mid-table, like, that's, that's a lot of goals. Who was our leading scorer last year? Wakey. Is it Wakey? Wasn't it Willow with Tad? Willow. Willow. Yeah, Willow with Tad. Willow. Yeah, no, Followed by Chad. Yeah. yeah. So question number four. This one, after the question, has got a bonus question added on to it, Ooh. right? Ooh. So question number four. Did we lose or win more games last season? Lose. Okay. It was, we lost more games. But for a bonus point... Why is that rules? For a bonus point, <laughs> how many games exactly did we win and how many games exactly did we lose? For a bonus point. Even if you just get one of them, I'll give you... What? <laughs> this is a tough, these are tough questions. Um, how many games did we lose? And he how said many this was a good quiz. I think it's too difficult. It's very precise. Um, <laughs> just get some numbers, bro. <laughs> how many games in this season? 46? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say we won... Okay, this is... My maths is going to be so off here. Yeah. I'm going to say we won... 22. Does it get passed over? Yeah, it will get passed right. over. Obviously. Love it. 
We won 22 and then whatever equals 46, we lost. So we didn't draw any games. Draw any games. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, damn, I just swore. That's fine. Don't worry about it, Rush. You're going to bleep it out? Can you bleep it out? Uh, we'll bleep it out. Right. Yeah, we'll bleep it out. Um, Matt will just have to get a time stamp. I'll tell you, we won 16. It was 16. That's, That's where I was going. going. <laughs> it was 16. How many guesses is he allowed to? <laughs> He guessed 22 and that we lost the rest. Yeah. And no, then you said it'd be passed over and you let him go again and he got well, it right. Well, you, you didn't say anything. You were just sat there quietly. You're still going to get you can, lost. Do you want to get the ones we lost? Go on, you can have that one. 17. Yep. There you go. Nice, you. So what, are we on three all? Three all. How many questions have we got left, Jane? We've got two left. It would have been three left, but I'd give it a... I, yeah, what? It's fine. <laughs> so, obviously, we played 40 this weekend. In our last fixture with them at the county ground, who scored our two goals? Me. As in, not me, I didn't score. <laughs> yeah, I didn't answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Forgot now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Chaz and. Oh, God. I don't know, like Willow? No. Chaz is one of them. Who is the other? So, how are we going to decide who gets it if he gets the other one? I think you're going to have to give him a countdown. This is, this is mad. Go well, on, give me a 10 seconds. No, no. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Kaney. Yep. So who gets the point? He scored that worldy, didn't he? So we're he four. gets the point? No, one point each, no, because you guess Chaz and I guess Kaney. Because I got Chaz and he got Kaney. Yeah. Right. I mean, what if you want to make it 4-4 four, four for our last question, we can do that or we can keep it 4-3. Four, four. I don't know. You both obviously fact, got... No, no. 4-3. Four, 4-3 three, four, three to me. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, final question. Who has played more games for Swindon? Harrison Minton or Jake Kane? Me. Me no. Jake Kane. Maybe not. Yeah. And for, right, and for a bonus point, how many games have each of them played? Oh, good, good Lord. <laughs> Jorna. But yeah, but yeah, it was Kane. It, it was Kaney, so it's 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So what are we going to do it? We're, we're not playing rock, paper, scissors, thumbs again. <laughs> like last time, rock, paper, thumbs. Um, what are we going to do? Rock, paper, scissors. Get? Rock, paper, scissors. In fact, we go out on, on the um, pitch number race. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bus <laughs> We could do some yeah. keepy-ups. I might win that. No. One of my questions <laughs> that I chose... No, no, no. One of my questions that I chose killed it, because obviously it came up. Seven. <laughs> seven. But yeah, Kaney played seven. Come on then. No, let's just say how many games did, did, did they play and that's how we can decide who we went. just said one of them. Yeah. Oh, did he? I actually didn't hear him. Did no, you? I didn't right. hear him. Did I? Jake Kane played 17. Well, how, why are you telling no, us now? How many did Minnow play? Oh, okay. Uh, it, Eight. Oops. Oh, I was going to say 12. It was 14, so... I'm not losing yeah. like that, man. Yeah. Honestly. No, should we call this a draw? Crap. Yeah, we'll, we'll call, call it a draw. draw. He's been going we'll on about how good this quiz I never has said, been. I never said how good. You never did. Said. You did. You said how good this quiz has been. I never said it was good. You did. You said it's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> Unbel oh. I was happy with a couple of my questions. Matt. I wasn't. <laughs> no. I've got to say, Ross, I'm with you on that. Too I precise. Think, uh, mad. Mad. You live and you learn. Hey, you know what I mean? It's only his seventh time of... Or eighth time of writing a quiz. We'll, we'll get there one day. We'll, <laughs> Just like. Nearly as bad as my journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't released that one. Yeah, yeah. We still got that one. There's a good one to come. Uh, Why? Save me. No, it's brilliant. <laughs> um, we'll get that out soon. Um, cool. I think that about wraps us up. Yeah. Um, I want to say thanks to Kelly Paul, little Casey who's with us, and friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know names. I should have known that beforehand. Thank you guys. <laughs> Probably. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure, Rush. It's good to have you on. Mm -hmm. um, as always, if you're not following us on all the socials, get and do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it really. Follow Obviously us. thanks to all our other sponsors as well. Yeah, all the sponsors. Infra3, the principal sponsor. Tive Grove, the big quiz sponsor. Mm -hmm. And as always... Mad Mash Media, Matt Edwards is with us and making this amateur stuff look half pro, kinda. <laughs> no, this is professional. professional. This is professional. professional. Yeah, it's decent. But no, class from him, class from you. Enjoyed it, Rush. Yeah. Decent. Thanks for coming on.
You're welcome. And we will see you all next time. Yeah, thanks for having me. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Okay.